welcome to Age Akshara Academy YouTube channel. In this session, I am going to discuss laws of motion in this Newton's third law of motion. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Please share your valuable comments in the comment section. Newton's third law of motion. To every action, there is always an equal and opposite reaction. So, Newton's third law of motion states that to every action, there is always an equal and opposite reaction. So, this is the action and reaction. In rocket propulsion, action and reaction, there is always an equal and opposite reaction. For every action, there is always an equal and opposite reaction. What does this mean? Let us discuss. This means that for every action, there is a reaction which is equal in magnitude but in opposite direction. See this figure, man is jumping. And again, same force is, with the same force it is going back. Action and reaction. This means that for every action, there is a reaction which is equal in magnitude but in opposite direction. When you push an object, it pushes you back. Characteristics of action and reaction. Action and reaction are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So, action and reaction do not act on the same body. Therefore, they do not cancel each other. Action and reaction are mutual and act simultaneously. Newton's third law is not applicable for pseudo force. So, Newton's third law is not applicable to pseudo forces. Newton's third law refines the nature of a force and gives the law of conservation of linear momentum. So, Newton's third law is not strictly applicable when the interaction between two bodies separated by a large distance. What is a pseudo force? The force acting on an object relative to an observer in a non-inertial frame without any interaction with any other object of the universe is called as pseudo force. So, the pseudo force nothing but the force acting on an object relative to an observer in a non-inertial frame without any interaction with any other object of the universe is called as pseudo force. Let us discuss example. Centrifugal force, deflection of pendulum relative to accelerating car, gain or loss of weight, experienced in an accelerating elevator. So, all these are the examples for pseudo force. Here a bird flies forward by exerting a force on their air, but the air pushes the wings of the bird back that makes the bird move forward. See the picture, bird is flying by exerting a force on the air, but the air pushes the wings of the bird back that makes the bird move forward. Walking. See, girl is walking, the force exerted by a person on the ground, force exerted by the ground on the person, both action and reaction. Now, let us discuss in situation. Centrifugal force is an example for gravitational force, tangential force, pseudo force and external force. The centrifugal force is an example for pseudo
टू द फोर्स द फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन ऑब्जेक्ट रिलेटेड टू एन ऑब्जर्वर इन अ नॉन इनर्शियल फ्रेम विदाउट एनी इंटरेक्शन विद एनी अदर ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द यूनिवर्स इज कॉल्ड एज सूडो फोर्स सो सेंट्रिफिकल फोर्स इज एग्जांपल फॉर सूडो फोर्स Which of the following statements is incorrect for action and reaction forces? These act on two different bodies. These are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. These act on a single body. Action and reaction never balance each other. So these act on a single body. So this is the incorrect statement for action and reaction forces. the behavior of a body under a zero resultant force is given by newton's third law of motion newton's second law of motion newton's first law of motion newton's law of gravitation so this uh, the behavior of a body under zero resultant force is given by newton's third law of motion okay thanks for watching this video